John, the video on demand market is getting so crowded between Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, Vudu, the cable companies. Can Verizon <laughs> and Redbox really compete here? Uh, we will see, won't we, Emily? You know, there's still one number that stands out more than any other in this streaming movie market, and it is two billion. That's how many hours of streaming movies and television were consumed by users of the Netflix streaming service in the fourth quarter. So just over 20 million subscribers sat down and watched movies over and over and over again. And that's why they've got such a tremendous lead in this business. You know, when you ask someone about Amazon's rival service, they don't really have strong numbers to share because Amazon's been pretty quiet on that front so far. And so at the end of the day, while Coinstar feels this need to get into this business, because so many people are enjoying streaming content, the question is, can you come up with a service that will actually get people to forget about cable in the way that some people have chosen to forget about cable and go for Netflix. I mean, think about it anecdotally. How many people do you know who have said, I'm going with Amazon and I'm, I'm cutting my cable? Tough to find those numbers, but you do hear about people who are choosing Netflix every day. Emily? Now, Coinstar CEO, as we said, was on Bloomberg earlier today. He said he thinks the streaming service will actually boost DVD sales at Redbox kiosks. How does that work? I mean, it's, it's an interesting point, and that is his argument. But viewers should know that Reed Hastings, the boss at Netflix, has an entirely different uh, argument on this. Remember when Netflix came out with their quarterly results, what Reed Hastings said was, look, we've got roughly 11 million DVD subscribers right now, and we're expecting that that number is going to steadily decline every quarter forever. Forever is the argument that he put forward. So clearly you've got two different uh, schools of opinion on that. Emily? All right. Thanks for that. Our senior West Coast correspondent, John Ehrlichman.